Where the hell am I? Johnny? Johnny fucking pal. What are you doing here? And where the hell are we? You let stupid stuff get in your head, then it gets all jumbled and weird, and people think you're nuts! Come find me, Jackie. Not nuts, but you definitely have neurological conditions, man. What's up with those eyes? Hello. Tony, Tony, what happened? Did you find the guys who hit us at the restaurant? Sometimes I can't tell the difference between a fruit and a vegetable. Jesus Christ, what is this place? I gotta get out of here. I like grapes. I don't like beans. I like strawberries, though. How do you feel about tomatoes? You got any fruit? Ah, no, ah, ah, ah! <laughs> Was that? Jackie, over here! Jesus Christ, Jackie, we thought you was dead. What happened back there? I, uh, I handled things, like I always do. What the hell's going on, Tony? Hell if I know, boss. Look, we gotta get out of here. You go in your limo, and I'll go ride in the car with Vinny. He busted up a couple of ribs, but he's gonna be fine. So yeah, that mouth animation, that's the other reason why they have... The first time you use the darkness, masks on the thugs. it scares you. But once you've tasted it, you can't stop. That's all you think about. Like I said, it consumes you. Every second of every day for the last two fucking years, I kept myself in check. Gritted my teeth and kept it buried. Oh, now it's back. And I can feel what it's doing to me. So, uh, I guess setting you up with the twins didn't go so good, huh? Yeah, no shit. I'm glad you're alright, Vin. Now, can you tell me what the fuck just happened? I don't know. I saw some weird looking guy had a limp. It was crazy. Like, one minute he's there, the next minute the guy just fucking disappears. I don't know. I must have hit my head or something. Look, anyways. Jimmy says he's got a lead on the crew that hit us. Good. I'll find Jimmy. Tell him to meet me in my office. I'm gonna head upstairs. Yeah, sure. Whatever you need, Jackie. Go upstairs. So, of course, I will not. Oh, yeah. Hmm. One of the things that does bother me about game design nowadays huh? is that you always know. Hello! Looks like you ruined another suit. Whoever it tells what you is that blood all over your suit? Don't go there first. This is always hit stuff somewhere else. You don't get it. You'll never get it. On the water, on my boat, I can just kick back. I ain't getting any younger. About time I take it easy, you know? It's a fucking boat, Frank. Can a boat tuck you in at night? Can a boat make you children? A boat has an anchor that I control. Not the other way around, Eddie. You calling my wife an anchor? She's my sister. I call her whatever I want. Ah, uh, you're a fucking mess. Uh, stereotypes from The Godfather. <coughs> Let's see, magazine media. Dining. Jackie, how you doing? I'm pissed off, boys. We're gonna find these fucks. Jimmy's got some info already. How the fuck's that guy know everything? He's a goddamn encyclopedia. Encyclopedia? Listen to you. Like you ever cracked a book in your life. <laughs> this fucking guy, right? If he wasn't already married to my sister, I'd have to punish him by introducing him all over again. You talk shit, but I know we're gonna see you for dinner on Sunday. Hey, Jackie. You say the word, and we're ready to go. We got your back, boss. Thanks a lot, boys. And drink up. It's gonna be a long night. You know what your problem is? What, aside from you? Your problem, asshat, is you ain't never been in love. Uh, I love my boat. That don't count. 
I love drinking. <laughs> no, no, no. Real love with a person. Like I said, in love. Oh, and you have? Yeah, I've been in love. I'm in love right now. With my wife? <laughs> with my mistress? Hell, I even loved that whole Camille from the other night. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> So what are the advantages okay. that, so long uh, Ranger gets captured by some fucking assholes, oh, right? Indians. Conversation. No, bad guys, thieves, assholes, come on. Criminals. Sure, okay, so, Lone Ranger gets captured by a bunch of fucking criminals. When those bad guys' backs are turned, Lone Ranger sees, up on the hill across the valley, his best buddy Tano. Yeah, the Indian. No, the Native American. All right, all right, Native American. <laughs> Okay, so the Lone Ranger can't escape. He's surrounded by all these assholes, right? But when nobody's looking, he snags a blanket and gets his ass over to the campfire. Where did he get a blanket? Hey, what do you fucking care? I bet it was a saddle blanket. Fine, genius. A saddle blanket. Okay, Lone Ranger grabs a fucking saddle blanket and starts fanning over the fire. Hey, sending smoke signals to the ain't The Native American, right? Fucking A right. He's sending a smoke signal. Tano sees the signal, nods, and tears his ass out of there. Now, when Tano comes back, he's got this beautiful blonde with big ass titties with him, right? <laughs> yeah? Lone Ranger sees the blonde and shakes his head, no. So the Lone Ranger fans the fire, sending Tano the smoke signal again. Tano sees it, nods, then races off. This time, he comes back with a hot, long-legged brunette bitch, right? Right. Lone Ranger sees this chick, shakes his head again. No. Fans the flame, sends the same smoke signal a third time. Off Tano goes. This time, he brings back a smoking redhead, right? Lone Ranger finally drops the blanket, just yells across the valley at the top of his fucking lungs. I said posse, you <laughs> asshole! Ah, <laughs> uh, so, right? One of the things that I was going to say is that there's good mirror animation there. Um, a lot of advantages that video game storytelling has with regard to... I don't know. It just don't seem right. Um, I think the guy's fucking like nuts. Character. You think the boss is a nut job? What, you don't? What did you say? Oh, hey, Jackie. Looking good, boss. Jackie, uh, let us know what you need, okay? They convey a lot of little things about, you know, Kiss character ass. personality Shut up, things like that. Sir, uh, perhaps you could have a word with Master Dolfo. The neighbors have been complaining again. Like, the, that whole interchange between Frank and uh, Eddie, the two guys at the bar, conveys, like, a whole bunch of crap about the characters, the kind of people they are, things like that, that... <laughs> That's about the only uh, kind of that. thing that. that would that. be in common between a video game narrative description and... Hey, Dolfo, what the hell are you doing out here? I gotta practice my aim or I get rusty. Plus, I hate pigeons. They carry diseases and shit. You sure I can't help you out there? I'm real good at shooting and blowing shit up, you know. Of course I know that. That's why I need you here, holding down the fort. You got it? Done deal, boss. You need anything, you know where to find me. Come on, Jackie, let's blow off some steam, huh? See how fast you can shoot him. Atta boy, Jackie. Go until you run out of shells. I always do. Oh. <laughs> I never get tired of this shit. How about a couple more? I gotta say, that, that was, was mediocre. mediocre. Hey, wanna join me? Let's start off with the accents. That a boy, Jackie. Go until you run out of shells. I always do. <laughs> I never get tired of this shit. How about a couple more? I gotta say, 
That was mediocre. Nah, but that's fine. So, I mean, a lot of people will talk about the graphics in video games like it's the be all end all for all of these things, and it's definitely important. But, you know, I really wonder a lot of times how much people actually pay attention to the graphics story the, that's being told. And so, um, as opposed to just saying, oh, look at the, you know, the polygonal counts and how smooth the animation is and the frames you get, you know, based on having really good or really bad uh, hardware. Like, you know, everyone talks about how Crisis is so great because... Can't shoot straight uh, today. Because oh, that it's very you know technologically Can't demanding shoot and today. how they design it for computers that haven't yet been designed. But you know, really, oh, is there a again. story just told by the by what you see in Crisis? I mean, granted, I haven't played through all of it. I think that the, the few minutes of gameplay video I have posted somewhere are, you know, all of, you know, what I played uh, up to that point, because I think I got distracted by something else. Jackie, Jackie, don't take this the wrong way, but I got a sausage over <laughs> here with your name on it. Absolutely See, I knew you'd take it the wrong way. Go with God. But, I mean, what story do all those fucking trees actually tell you? They tell you, oh, there's a lot of trees. Um, and there's not anything necessarily wrong with that. I mean, the, the whole setting is designed to be, oh, it's on some island nation. But there's minimal character interaction there. Um, even between the soldiers themselves that you don't really get to experience like you do in, say, perhaps Spec Ops The Line. Hey, boss, you good? Someone's gonna pay for this shit. No, but here, um, I mean, here you really get a, a better grasp of, of what the kind of people are. Oh, okay. You know, like, I really, really like the, the interplay that happened between Frankie and Eddie. Um, because it conveyed a lot of stuff. I mean, like, with everything about the, you know, they're not Indians or Native Americans, which, you know, Coming from, like, some mealy-mouthed liberal, you know, to go with stereotypes, you know, that doesn't really mean anything. But when it's coming from, you know, the, the hardened mobster type dude, you know, it, it adds a little bit of irony, which is cliché in the extreme. And see, this is why I stuff out. before I do stuff. But, you know, so you have those cliches, you know, and then you have silly little stuff, you know, like this, you know, little, probably, romance book, now you say, ah. Um, the Elite Dining Magazine down below. The little touches that tell you things about the characters, whether either implicitly Thank Christ he got it back, you know. What do you mean? Or you heard the expression, the that mess with the bull and you get the horns? <laughs> Well, mess with Jackie, and you get those two things of his. I'll take those things over horns any day. I mean, how do you think he took over the whole family so fast in the first place? That fucking thing of his, that's how. Hey, Butch, Leo. Hey, boss. We was just talking about you. Glad you got your uh, mojo back. Let's send a message to these fucks that think they can hit us. You got that right. We're ready whenever you need us, boss. Like, for example, the architecture of this building, you know, as far as uh, set design and, you know, level design, you know, it's pretty cool. But, you know, does it tell the story? Um, no, not much of one. At least not one that I can see yet. Maybe later on in the book, uh, sorry, in the game, we'll find stuff out. And all of this is stuff that an author of, hey, of written me. word 
He ain't been the same since he lost Jenny. Of course he's different now. If someone blew your girlfriend's face off in um, front of you, you, know, you wouldn't be fighting you just sunshine either. Stuff. Shit, no. But Jackie's tough. Not that he can't handle, right? See, these are little interesting gameplay things. You know, it's absolutely trivial. But still, it tells you something. I saw you again today. In the alley. Down on the tracks. I still see you. Everywhere I go. Torture yourself with her memory, Jackie. Jenny would never have wanted this. It scares me that you're so much like your father, Carlo. He could never let things go. Aunt Sarah, I'm fine. How many times I gotta tell you? You're a terrible liar, Jackie. Sometimes, sometimes I, I think I see her. And it's like, it's like she's not gone. But she is gone, Jackie. You buried Jenny years ago. I know, I know. Listen, Aunt Sarah, thanks for looking out for me, but I'm okay, all right? Just got a lot on my mind right now is all. Fine. You ever get the balls to actually talk about all this, come see me in my room. All right, fine. You want to bust my chops, then let's talk. What do you mean, like my father? I loved your father. Everyone loved Carlo. He just had that way about him. But before... before we lost him, he couldn't let things go. He became obsessed, and that obsession consumed him, Jackie. I don't want to see the same thing happen to you. Obsessed with what? It... it's not important. You just have to let go, Jackie. You have to move on with your life. I am, Aunt Sarah. I am. You really are the worst liar I've ever met. And I grew up with thieves. So what then? I'm seeing ghosts? I don't believe in ghosts, Jackie. But I do believe in being haunted. You need to man up and let all of this go. You're right. How come you're always right? <laughs> Comes with age, kiddo. I'll talk to you later, Aunt Sarah. You know where to find me. You know, this sweater tells you something about her. You know, little subtle details. And something that's, you know, really <laughs> perhaps kind of gross to think about is notice they did not design her with an enormous rack. A lot of times in video games, they will use the same character model. Hey, boss. So what's what? For everything uh, and everyone. Uh, Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas were especially guilty of that. It uh, inspired a lot of mods to... Uh, I want you to go find somebody for me. Johnny Powell. Lives down by the Queensboro Bridge. You find him and bring him back here. Johnny Powell? Ain't that the guy that used to help you out with that... Thing of yours? He was a weird fuck. Whatever happened to that guy anyway? It don't matter. I need him back. Go bring him by for a visit. And hey, you don't have to be nice to him. Whatever you say, boss. I'll have the new guys go get him. Oh, hey, uh, Jimmy's waiting for you in your office. He's got a lead on the guys who hit us tonight. Thanks, Finney. Anytime, boss. Let me know if you need anything else. Hey, boss, you good? I like you, great. Jackie! Good to see you in one piece, kid. Got that information you wanted, kid. And Vinny says you got information for me. This thing at the restaurant, I just heard from Emilio Capizzi.
A couple of hours later, someone torched our warehouse down at the docks, and Freddy tells me two of our boys got clipped outside of Gino's deli tonight. Somebody's making a play. Whoever did this to us is dead. You hear me, Jimmy? There's the Jackie Estacado I know. Vinny told me you got that thing of yours back tonight. It's about fucking time. All right, all right. Just tell me what you know already. A waiter recognized one of the guys who came in at the restaurant tonight. Some guy named Swifty. Oh, Swifty. Yeah, I know that prick. He left as soon as I got there. Yeah, I never actually met him before. But I'm definitely looking forward to meeting him now. I had Vinny get some of the boys together. Let us know when you're ready to go and kick some righteous ass. Things ain't the way they was no more. Jackie, give me a shot when you're ready to go. Hey, Jackie. What say we go pay this asshole Swifty a visit? Let's go crack some skulls. Atta boy, boss. Let's head down. Well, here we go. Time to go to work. <laughs> 